Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 6 of season 3 of Yuki Yuna. Before we get started, BCW, you're probably wondering why in the world this is coming out Tuesday <laughs> afternoon when this is supposed to come out Friday. I accidentally forgot, plus I was busy all this weekend in a show. Yes, like, I literally remembered today and I was like, shit, I need to get this done. So yes, other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 6 and 3, 2, 1... Go. Now, I wonder if what's her face on the far left in the red because she did see stuff on social media the week prior, is if she's probably going to go off this week. She is about to, like, really... Oh, God, I'm scared. I mean, she... Oh, girl, help her. Help her. Help her, please. Please. Like, mm-hmm. It's time for an intervention gun. We have a problem here. This is why, like, straight up, when people say when you get on social media, do not always look at the comments because of the fact is, you know, yes, people are going to be assholes at the end of the day. Trust me. I know. <sighs> Dealing with this shit since 20 motherfucking 16 in the fall time. And, it, and how I don't like trolls. I can't stand trolls. And and then when it's, it's worse, when they egg you on and you do something and they only want you to do something for their amusement and such. And so the best thing is really, truly, is to ignore the fuck out of them. Fuck them. Because they're they're making you feel a certain type of way because they're currently feeling a certain type of way. It could be because of anything. But don't let them win. No, but seriously, like, what the fuck is Gun gonna do today? Well, technically, this was Friday, so what the fuck did she do on Friday? That's good.
she could have died as well. Yeah, she about to go fucking nuts by the end of this. Well, technically, no, even six minutes in, this girl going nuts. Oh, shit. The fact that this is, like, her most inner thoughts right now, girl. True. This girl was in some real bad shit. Like, this is her hell, but worse. Like, way, way worse. thing is why didn't you just take your mom and go and say fuck your dad because your dad is just a drunken asshole mm. But you weren't. That hell is still attached to you. And it found a way to your new friends. And took your friends one by one. So no matter where you go. You still in hell. So basically, you know, you got a drunk dad, a mom who cheated on your dad. Oh, God, I feel bad for this girl. And then two people who she just cared about are both dead.
Nah, she about to kill y'all. Oh, shit. Honey, doing that is not going to bring... Oh, shit. Yeah, because if you would have kept going down this road, you would have done something you regretted. You don't want to kill people, even though, yes, they are selfish assholes. You don't want to do that. You need help. They would want to do fucking work around 3 o'clock in the, in, the, in the morning, afternoon, oh my god. This is dark as fuck and we're not even done with the DM episode yet. She's not going to be able to see you now.
This feels like a setup. You know? Woo! You, you know what? Gun is gun. Let's just say that. Oh, because you don't need to know. She's just un unstable. You can see why, like, Gun really cares for Yuna. <laughs> Um, What if you die? Girl, no, hold up. Like, seriously, gun? I'd be very, very, you know. <laughs> Watch her ass. Mm-mm. Watch her ass. No, 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 no. 
because she's still unfucking stable. She got a problem. See? What the fuck did I say? What did I say? Oh, fuck. Right? Gun, don't do this. So you basically kind of telling me that gun was the ultimate villain all along for this whole entire series. You know? Mm. Oh, shit. And they're gonna end it right there, aren't you? You fucking son of a bitch. Oh, my God. This girl is unstable. So fucking unstable. And you really gonna kill Wakaba over this? We killing her because of this? I get it. Because, yeah... You know, so nice and sweet. And you don't want anybody else to see that nice and sweet side. I get it. But girl, oh my God. Between last week to <laughs> the week before the fifth to the prior, like to these last two freaking weeks of this show. Oh my God. This has gone hella dark. This girl was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm angry. And if I'm angry, I'm taking people with me. And that's exactly what she's doing. Anyone but Yuna. And I get it because in a way, Yuna is like her saving grace. Yuna has kind of like, either Yuna we're talking about. The Yuna who is currently in the hospital as of right now or just that Yuna who's right on the screen right now. They're, they're sunshines. They are a ray of fucking sunshine. They are pure. They are the most like... The holy of holiest and such. And so, because, no, oh God, this is the Madoka Magica feels. And I, and I really hate to say that. I do. Because, bruh, but seriously. Oh. She about to die on Friday, like straight up. Oh my God. No, and, and y'all gotta make it's only Tuesday. It is only Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. I can't wait a couple of days until Friday. Like, but seriously, dead ass. It seems like Gun is dying this week. Like straight up. It, you know how you you have that feeling when it's almost time for someone to go and such. It's either gonna be both Gun and Wakaba, and Yuna's gonna be on her own, or it's strictly just Gun. But the way this ended this week for really last week's episode, holy shit. I, I, I was, especially when episode five came out, something told me something bad. It was going to get worse because of the fact is 
she's she's sitting here and then when that episode ended and when she was looking at social media or even just people talking on a live stream or anything in general and how she got so upset at looking at these comments and stuff because as I said at the beginning of this episode when you are like someone who does something on the internet or anything the biggest thing is you have to have a thick ass skin you don't have a thick ass skin like people will just eat you and eat you up no matter what they will take any little thing that you love about yourself and just tear away at it until you are pure and nothing I mean for me the only thing that I can say from my experience um was <laughs> when I started uh, my biggest challenge was getting to like the first 100 subscribers um, between certain comments that I got, even till today, because sometimes I will still get comments that are very hurtful and mean, um, or just, like, people subscribing, uh, no, people unsubscribing when I was going to get to, like, the first 100 subscribers. I always felt like when people unsubscribed to me that I needed to change something about myself, that there was something specifically wrong with me at the end of the day. Like, no matter what the fuck I did that at the end of the day no one truly liked me for like my voice or how I looked or my opinion or this is that and the third but when you don't really focus on that and you focus on your own and you really just don't give a fuck about trolly asshole comments and you are on you you think about the the sweetness and kindness of people because there are really really good people on the internet um it's better. Your whole life gets better. You're, you feel better and you feel good about yourself and you know that like, damn. And, and sometimes, let me tell you, it, it's a day-to-day -day process. That's the biggest thing. I really feel bad for Gun because Gun is now at a moment where she cannot come back. Especially with the fact that she went back home and she took her scythe and she was just like cutting the crap out of these girls and making these girls bleed and throwing all these like, um, the posters with like die or your, your trash garbage whatever at them because of of course like yes she still feels hurt after what the hell has happened to her and everything but that doesn't give you the right to go back and then be hurtful to other people because of the fact is that's not gonna help with anything i mean yes losing two people who you cared about these five like five one two three four Five, maybe six girls. Yes, they're all friends, but losing those two, you still have two people left. But the fact is that this girl just wants Yuna at the end of the day, and she's like, I'm literally going to kill all these bitches in my way just to have Yuna and Yuna only. Because, like I said, that is her saving grace. That is her. Yuna, like, at the end of the day, no matter how, whether you watch from the first season, even looking at this current season, both of these Yunas are like, quote unquote, gods in a way. But Gun, Miss Gun over here, she's gonna do everything in her fucking power. But honey, you you you, you need <laughs> you need help. You need help, and I really hope Yuna does something by this Friday because I don't want Gun to die. I don't want anything happening to Gun. But the fact is that we are like now at the halfway point with this show, and anything could happen. I'm fucking scared. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Peter's episode six of season three of Yuki Yuna is a Hero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys on Friday for episode seven. Once again, I am sorry that this is several days late. Hopefully this does not happen again, but sometimes it does. Like I said, I'm a busy, busy gal. I am always busy every single freaking day and ish because, you know, people always need my help. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.